Okay, so toothpaste is now over $5. What are we going to do about it? I am 3 plus key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. And let's get into this toothpaste conversation. So I've been on this mission to reduce the toxins that are going in my body and on my body. Um, the general rule of thumb is if it doesn't grow that way, don't eat it. And if it's not edible, don't put it on my body. Uh, some exceptions, because I am human, I do like a good perfume, and I do enjoy my ice cream, the simple pleasures in life. Again, I'm only human, and in transparency, I don't follow these rules of thumb all the time. But um, another thing I like to do is save money. I am what I call frugal franny. In these streets, I am a penny pincher. And so all these things taken together, um, I went looking for a DIY natural toothpaste recipe um, that is approved by dentists. And so that's what we're going to get into today. So what is the recipe? It is two thirds cups of baking soda. So just a little package right here, two thirds cups of baking soda. We have 10 to 15 drops of organic peppermint oil or one to two teaspoons of peppermint extract. And you can do two teaspoons of fine salt. Um, that's optional. And so what you want to do is keep it in an airtight glass container. It lasts for about four weeks. You definitely want to throw it away after um, those four weeks. And you want to use a clean spoon to dish it out and apply it to your toothpaste. That way you're reducing um, the bacteria. So what does it taste, feel, smell, and look like? Um, it tastes mainly like peppermint, mainly like peppermint, uh, a little bit salty, and that's just due to the baking soda nature of it all, but, um, it definitely tastes just like that peppermint, uh, oil that I put into it. It feels like it seems it would. Uh, it feels like wet baking soda, so kind of like wet and grainy, but that's okay. <laughs> um, it smells like peppermint. It doesn't smell like anything but toothpaste, so I really love that. And what does it look like? It looks just like toothpaste. You can see it kind of moves around a little bit, and um, I just keep it in my bathroom. So the application, when to do it. Now, this part is important. According to the Journal of the American Dental Association, baking soda is safe to use daily to brush your teeth, but you could still be susceptible to cavities um, because it doesn't have fluoride. So the way that I've been using it is... I brush my teeth once daily with my DIY um, natural toothpaste. And then the other times I brush my teeth, I use dun, 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 the expensive um, toothpaste. So all in all, I have this natural remedy and I'm saving money at the same time. It couldn't get any better. So again, that recipe is two thirds baking soda along with 15 drops of essential oil, although I used 30. Um, or you can use one to two teaspoons of peppermint extract. So one thing I will leave you with, you don't have to use the peppermint oil or the extract. You could use something like orange extract or tea tree oil, um, or any variation of extracts and oils. Baby, this is your world. This is your DIY natural toothpaste. So 
What are you thinking? What would you try? Comment below if you wouldn't use to, uh, peppermint or if you would, what would you put in your DIY natural toothpaste? I am 3 Plus Key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. And subscribe to this channel for more content. Share this video with someone who would find it useful. Like it if you love it. And I will talk to you later.